great. Good morning. Wait. <laughs> there we go again. Uh, hello. Hi. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to a new video. I'm over here laughing because Larry and I, I was just telling him, I don't know what to say in the intro of the vlog because I used to start it off with good morning, everybody, and I'm now uploading in the evening. And although I know that there's some people that, even though I was saying good morning, it was actually evening when they were watching, so maybe I'll just say... Hi everybody, hope your day has been wonderful, whatever you guys were up to. And Larry and I are getting ready to run out. We're gonna go to Target. I found some fall bralettes. Um, one of my friends over on Instagram actually posted a picture of her wearing a bralette and I want to get it so bad. So I'm gonna go hunt that down. We might check out some thrift stores. I'm on the hunt for a Halloween costume, bits and pieces, um, that I should start looking for now. And I wanna give a shout out to two products that I'm using today, and holy crap. The one is this one. This is Dominique Paul. It's a contour enhancing your natural beauty palette. He sent this to me to test out. I did try it out finally today. I used it to fill in my brows. I used it for my bronzer. It was so smooth, not patchy. It was like butter. It was buildable. I actually used the, say, the shade. Let me show you guys. Hold on. I'm trying to talk and do this. It's so hard to do. Um, I used the shade uh, Chai, the bottom one in the middle for my bronzer. And then I used the this, this, this one. <laughs> Wait. The one that's on the bottom left I used to fill in my brows and it was freaking amazing. And then the other one, which I believe is a new product, is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which was also incredible. So it made my lashes pretty much really long and separated. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna crouch down and put the camera down and show you guys the wand. So am I in focus? I think I am. The wand on this is different, and I liked it because it did separate and lengthen. Like, I'm really getting into long, wispier looking eyelashes instead of like chunky and thick. And the wand is really flexible. It's kind of strange. It's weird when you go to put it in, so you kind of gotta like focus and put it in, otherwise, it's gonna like bend. I don't know. But look, like this wand, just look at it. It's so tiny and thin, and it is incredible for your lower lash line too, especially. So if you guys didn't want to use it for your upper lashes, this is perfect for lower lashes. But with that being said, that is what we're doing today. I wanna show you guys my outfit, or those are the things that I tried today and I wanted to highlight. My outfit, outfit is super simple and casual. As always, you guys know I like to dress comfortable. I'll start with the bottom, which are just black Nike tennis shoes. These shorts, which are from Target, I got them in the spring of this year. And then this shirt is one that I just bought. It's really slouchy, you guys know I like my shirts like that. This I found at Marshall's for $4.99. Now, we're gonna head into the kitchen. Larry, you gonna make a to-go beverage? I think I might. Say hi to babe, everybody. Hi to babe, everybody. And um, I'm gonna get my coffee. I know quite a few of you have been messaging me about the lack of coffee in the intros in the video, so yeah, I haven't been doing that the last couple of times, but the videos have been more of like sit down videos. Um, and then when I was vlogging, I didn't do it. So I already made my coffee. I'm just gonna transfer it over into travel a travel mug for the road. <gasps> Are you gonna make a mention about CLE? That's right. I'm wearing my Bob and Jackie Cleveland Indian shirt that is politically correct with no Chief Wahoo on it. For all the people that sent me hate for wearing one. There was only one person that sent hate. Oh, just one? There was just one person. Oh, okay. So. About the, yeah. Generic Chief Wahoo. There are no Chief Wahoo. And so I got my t-shirt on and my wardrobe uh, examination for the day is a pair of jeans that I put my foot through. <laughs> he did. The knee when I was putting them on. <laughs> And my tennis shoes, and today I am wearing the shade of old. <laughs> oh my god, I was like, what are you going to say right now? I was intrigued. I'm about to open my coffee cabinet and just stick you guys in here while I talk to you. Kind of a weird spot, but it works. And then part of the reason I haven't been making my coffee in my videos, which this is a lesson I'm going to share with you guys. People 
are always gonna find something about you that they don't like. So I was told basically that my videos are very predictable and it's the same thing over and over and over and they're basically boring. So <laughs> I stopped making my coffee because I did realize that I was doing that in every video. And you know what, you just can't like change what you're doing based on you know opinions it's great like to use as like constructive criticism I get that but sometimes it's just then you start getting in your own head and thinking too much and it's just not worth it so we're gonna continue doing what we're doing and making fun videos for you guys because we know you guys love them and that's what we're here to do you wanna have fun and make people laugh. yes fun make people laugh I'm sorry if my vlogs have been the same over and over and if they've been really predictable um, but they're about to get exciting. If they weren't exciting before, they're about to get really festive and exciting now, which reminds me, I was thinking about doing a one last hoorah pool summer. Here's my morning coffee. Um, yeah, like a pool video. I thought it would be really fun just to kind of like do the end of summer celebration. Yeah, because in Ohio, when it's back to school time, that was pretty much kind of the end of the pool. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody started thinking about, well, it's going to be a couple of weeks, we're going to have to close up the pool. And he started getting warmer, well, still warm days, but colder nights. Hi. And that, that pretty much made the water drop pretty quick. Where yeah. here is, we still have pool for probably another... October. Till yeah, October. at least October. But for everybody else, I want, I like, I want the videos to change with the seasons. I'm a very seasonal being, which I've said, you guys know, if you've been watching, you know, I'm a very seasonal person. But I want to do like a end of year, oh, we're getting dark, um, pool kind of vlog, swim day, cook it out. That might be good for Labor Day weekend. Could be a Labor Day weekend. I might do that vlog for Labor Day weekend. So if you guys want to see one last hoorah, pooly kind of video, let me know before we like completely submerge into autumn, fall, festive videos. This has been an eight minute, 49 second intro. I just wanted to do a quick shout out and another thank you to Sam and Barbara for sending me the book on the history of baseball in Florida. Yeah, it's a cute book. Very so, educational. I'm excited about that. Where's my lid? Where's my lid? Here's my lid. You flipped your lid? Flipped my lid. All right. You ready to rock and roll? I think I am. <laughs> Almost ready. Many of you have been asking about these earrings. These I got from Cracker Barrel. And this, a lot of people asked about my cartilage. I've had it pierced since I was 18. And I had to get it done twice. The first time was awful and it took a long time to heal and the total healing time for mine was a year everybody's is gonna vary like my best friend didn't have any issues with her at all whereas i had issues i, had issues. <laughs> I don't have issues with mine because they're still original equipment <laughs> mine are still original they've just been punctured <laughs> yeah, a couple right. times <laughs> i treated the pool today good job babe there was something else that a lot of you guys keep asking me and i wanted to answer and i don't remember what it was Hmm. I don't know. You guys want to see little Lexi? There she is. She's munching. She loves her wellness brand. Oh my goodness. As you guys can see. Hi, baby. But not the salmon. Not the salmon. That's the only flavor she doesn't like. You're such a pretty girl. We're going to run out and go to the store. Lexi's doing a mukbang. <gasps> she is. This is Lexi's mukbang. ASMR. Camera out, recording. Got the lock, babe. We have come into the thrift store. We just went thrifting, but different store. We're yeah, we're at a different store, different location. We're gonna look at maybe some cardigans again. Don't need any more. Larry's gonna hunt down the jerseys, so we'll see if we find anything at the store. And I'm gonna look for some costume ideas. 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 I'm so excited. 
We hit the jackpot. Oops, turn off the AC, that would be bad. Hi! Hi guys, we are back in the car and my 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 did my we my. have a thrift haul for you. My my. Hope you guys like thrift hauls because calls. Hauls? Because <laughs> this is the second one we've done in a row. It is. It is. You want to show them what you want to alternate? Uh yeah, we can alternate. Alright. You should go first to do that more. Okay. So I bought a couple of sweatshirts and a couple pairs of jeans, and my shirts are different, some of them. So I know leopard print is like in, so I bought this. I thought it would be really cute tucked into a high-waisted black jeans or even tucking them into yoga pants just in the front. It was super cute, I liked it. And this was $4.58. $4.58? Yeah. I know I have a lot of leopard print. <gasps> That's actually my only leopard print item. I don't have anything that's left in print. Are you still getting situated over there? I'll show my next one. Yeah, show your next one. I'm taking some tape off. Okay, this one was $4.58. I mean, seriously, you cannot beat it. And look how cute it is. It's another slouchy one. This, tucked into a really light blue faded pair of jeans with oh little rips. Oh my ribs. gosh. Super slouchy, super cute. Super duper. Love it. This one was my funky one and I was like well is this gonna be cute or is this gonna be a catastrophe it could go either way but what here it is here and it it's is. like you guys might not be able to see oh there you go see that see that it is like a fluffy creature sweater and um yeah I'm gonna try and rock it we're gonna see how it looks could be a hit could be a miss I don't know but for how much is it does she rip off the tag oh they come off when they take that sensor thing. Oh right. yeah. Okay. It wasn't much. I think well, it was there's another. A, there's a tag. Yeah, but there's nothing on it. Yeah. I think this was another $4.58 sweater. Here, you want to show your jersey? It's a, it's a New York Jets Braylon Edwards jersey. I know unless you're a Browns fan or a Jets fan, you probably, or went to Michigan. But he was drafted very high by the Browns. I don't know if he was a number one. Might have been a number one. I'm not sure. Very high draft pick of the Browns. He was a receiver. Unfortunately, he kept oops. He kept dropping things. Fumble. Yeah. And um, oops. <laughs> the, the the Jets were kind enough to take him off the Browns' hands. And does he still play? I don't think so. I think he might have played a year or two with the Jets, and he was pretty much done with football. His reasoning was because he went to Michigan, the Browns uh, wanted to get rid of him because the Cleveland or Ohio doesn't like Michigan in football. Yeah, no. So uh, I think the real reason was he had a he had an issue hanging on to the ball, and if he caught it and ran with it, he would sometimes fumble it. So, uh, but this was uh, twelve dollars, twelve ninety nine. Yeah, I think it rang up for that much. And it's an NFL equipment Jets with the the patch and the stitch numbers and uh, letters. So it's a good deal for a, an NFL jersey. A stitched jersey. NFL yeah. official. My next one, oh, there's two wrapped up together, is a multicolored. It's a cream, tan, light pink. It's just basically a bunch of light pinks, creams, tan, very neutral colored shirts. And then I also got another one. I think this might have came from the same person because it's like the same brand, same style. And this one is a multi gray colored. Again, tucked into black jeans, leggings, super cute. And I got three pairs of jeans. I did not try them on. I have no idea if they're gonna fit. I just kind of eyeballed them and was like, right, I think that would fit me. And if it doesn't, they were only like four bucks, so I figure not too big of a deal if they don't fit. I'll just donate them back and it'll all be okay. Actually, this is $6, but $6 pair of jeans. Usually you spend like 20, 30, 40, who knows? And she buys hers with the holes already in the jeans. I have to earn my holes. <laughs> so I got a really light pair of jeans. I don't really know the brand. Um, their boyfriend, I think they're Coot. I don't know, K-U-T, Cut. Maybe that's Cut. They're cute. I have no idea, but they're skinny jeans and I really liked the faded, kind of like 90s blue style. Go ahead then. I have from the Discovery Channel a DVD that outlines Flight 93 that was unfortunately mm. the September 11th, 2001. Yeah. Uh, but it's from Discovery Channel and this was a uh, one disc 
DVD for $2.18. Very good. I got another pair of jeans. They're a darker blue, very distressed, fade into a lighter blue on the thighs. And these were by the Lucky brand. And I don't see a sticker. Holes. I like me holes. I've got another DVD. This is a collector's edition. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It I believe is a maybe two disc set, but it also comes with the screenplay from the movie. And also a collector's um, cell. They take a piece of the film from, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Here. Oh, yeah. You can see the, the uh, color cell from the, the movie film. Oh. And it looks like it might be, it is a two disc set. So it came with all of that. That was for the price of $3.98. Very good. My next pair of jeans are by the brand Jade. Again, I have not heard of them. These are a very dark pair of jeans with lots of light blue distressed. I mean, the light blue is almost a white. It's very, very light. And these were $6.98. And then I just have one more pair of jeans. Did you show them everything? I have one more item. Go ahead. My last item is a hardbound book. It's definitely got some age to it. Uh, you won't be able to see this, but it shows a uh, old Graflex camera with a military helmet on the top, and it's from Collier's Magazine, and it is the photographic history of World War II. That's fancy. Very yeah. delicate looking. The, the binding is a little bit weak, but it's it's been around since, I'm sure if it's a photographic history, probably from... A long time. Yeah, 1946. Well, while you're looking for a date, I'm going to show them my last pair. Okay. My last pair of jeans are another dark blue. They're Hollister jeans, which I used to wear all the time. But the reason I grabbed these was because of the material. They are so soft and so worn. Like, oh my gosh. And the stretch. Do you see this? These are the jeans that usually fit like a glove and they are a dream. So I picked up those. And then the bottoms were kind of like frayed. So I picked those up. And these were $6.00. $6.98, technically $7. I like how girls like to round down like that. They're $6, even though they're technically seven. And then the last thing I got was a pair of sunglasses that I almost put back because I was like, I don't think that is what you should be paying. Even though I'm pretty sure they're brand new. They've never been worn. They're in this newspaper. Look. I am an aviator kind of gal. Love myself some aviators, even though you guys always see me wearing the cat eye sunglasses that I have. But aviators used to be my thing all the time, and I've gone back. So look at these. They're gold rimmed, and they were originally $16.99. I believe that's like a Target sticker. For $3.99, I got these. I mean, they're classic, they're super light, and I'm obsessed. So. Yeah. I'm happy about that $3.99 price point because you can get these at Target for $16.99. Love my Target, but seriously, I'd rather pay $3.99 for the same pair versus $16.99 across the street. Okay, I'm done. Okay. Oh, gorgeous picture. All I could find was 1944 at the beginning of the book. Let me know um, how you hold. It's very weak binding, so I'm going to be kind of Here, careful. I'll just move the book. All right, then. But it's um, over 800 pictures with 24 in color, and it's a scene from London showing some of the damage that it was done says. by the bombings. Very interesting book and kind of up my alley with history. Yeah, it's cool. And I lied, it's not my last thing. My last thing is actually a, um, a Kuba S4500 tripod. It still has the wrapping on the, on the arms. This was for the low, low price of $6.98. And it seems like it'll be a nice, sturdy tripod. We're going to find out shortly. But the thing that kind of I liked about it was the mounting pad will come off so that you can mount your, your camera to this and then just pop this 
right into the top, push the lever, and your camera's mounted. <gasps> when so. you said push the lever, I thought of Emperor's New Groove. Mm. Pull the lever! Crunk! Crunk! Crunk. Lever. Do you guys remember that movie? Anybody? Anybody? Babe, do you know what movie I'm talking about? I've heard of the movie, but I've not seen it. It's great. Okay, seriously, this is the most annoying thing that they put on sunglasses because they always leave stick and they're always hard to get off, but I just got mine off. Yes! Now we can... May have been more... Wait a second. <gasps> I was like, what is this? Okay, how does this come off? So right. I got a boom, two DVDs, a jersey, and a tripod. There we go. You did well. Oh, oh you're... <laughs> The amount of that book is probably on the receipt. $24.99, I think, was the book. $24.98. $98. Very good. I went over. All right, so that was our little haul. Now we are going to head off to Target. Looking for a bra. Let. Let. In stereo. Okay, so I struck out on the bralette situation. vlogging in public sometimes but anyways I struck out in the bralette area and now I am headed to the beauty section and Larry is looking at DVDs when he looks at the DVDs it's usually my time to sneak away and look at beauty stuff Larry and I are back from doing a huge grocery shop which I'll do a haul on when we get back to the house but I think we've decided to go grab something to eat because we got a late start so it's already 6 p.m. and I really don't want to make dinner so Let's start the car first. Hot, 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 hot. Where? Where do you want to get food at? The Derbyere. I don't care. What do you want to be for? Well, I don't really want fast food. I'm kind of feeling Chipotle. Although some people argue that as fast food, but. We can do that. I'm thinking Chipotle. Do you want steak and shake then? Or do you want Wendy's or Burger King? Since we'll pass all three on the way to. Well, now that we know what we're going to Chipotle, let's head that way and I'll decide on the way. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we are back at the house from doing our errands and shopping and we picked up dinner, so we're gonna eat that shortly. But I'm gonna do a haul, show you guys what we got. And then I also did something that I thought was really nice and if you guys can do it or want to do it, I think that you should do it. And I ended up, I was in Chipotle doing my order and a Newport Ritchie officer came in behind me and was ordering his food and I paid for his food because they work so hard they deserve it and I really wanted to do that so first responders and police thank you for everything that you do and now with that being said let's go over this massive grocery haul okay so to start this is what Larry drinks he gets the propel grape water and then he picked out Frosted Flakes, which we haven't had in forever. I don't really eat cereal often. I probably won't eat that, but this is what he picked out. And then we always pick out soups. Um, one, because hurricane season, and it's good to just pick up a few and have them just in case something were to happen. So we got a few of those. Um, whole wheat bread. Larry picked out this butter popcorn. It is so light and airy and so freaking good. These cinnamon French toast sticks. He eats those for breakfast. This is my favorite pizza. It's from the California Pizza Kitchen. It's the margarita recipe with crispy, thin crust. And you can add things. Like, I usually tend to add jalapenos or mushrooms to mine. Sometimes I just have it like that. And then I found these cheese nibs. They're similar to cheese its but completely different. They taste so much better in my opinion. I still love cheese its but cheese nibs are my all-time favorite. And I finally found them for the first time since living in Florida, so I picked up a box. I picked out the Kind Healthy Grain Cinnamon Oat Clusters with flaxseed. This is one of the granolas that have the less sugar that you're gonna find that's packaged and in a store. I think there's only, how much sugar? Five grams of sugar in here, which is not bad because some of them have 12 and 13. So that is a good choice, the kind brand. Then I got Smucker's Natural Strawberry Fruit Spread. These I picked up, Instant Oatmeal Original. I have them plain and then I add my own toppings. That way it like helps control the amount of sugar that is in them. Pecans or pecans, however you guys say them, and this is to top onto my oatmeal. And then I love these. These are the steamables or steam fresh. I got peas, corn, green beans, and broccoli. They're just easy to like throw together. 
And then I got the premium romaine salad. I got a ginormous bag and then a smaller bag. I could not help myself. I could not resist. We went shopping. I was hungry. I got Stover's lasagna. Also picked up two lemons, baby carrots, mangoes. They are my favorite. Love mangoes. Pickles, the kosher dill spears by Mount Olive. And then I found these potatoes, which I thought was interesting. I'm going to do like a one sheet pan vegetable kind of ordeal here pretty soon. So I picked up these. These are the beautiful color and rich flavor, great grilled, roasted, or in salads. And they're like multicolor. So there's like some dark purple ones. You probably can't see them through here. Red and then there's yellow. Then I picked up the Baby Bella Mushrooms whole, a ginormous container of blueberries. I'm gonna eat them a lot with my oatmeal in the morning. Green onion, because I love adding green onion to soups if I'm not feeling well. And then this, I thought would be interesting to share with you guys. This is the organic virgin coconut oil. I picked up a plastic tub. This one is not for eating. In fact, I actually got it for shaving. I heard that it's excellent to shave with, plus it's more affordable. I mean, coconut oil can be, you know, kind of pricey, but this one really wasn't. So I picked up this one instead of getting the scented shaving cream. I mean, hopefully this will help. It will be nice. So I picked that up. Over here, we have Nazi food section. We have yummy chocolate chip cookies, apple pie, peach pie, and eclairs. Larry picked out these. And then my favorite salad dressing at the moment is the Ken's Steakhouse Red Wine Vinegar and Olive Oil. It's amazing. Larry picked up some hot dogs. We got some bacon. And then I picked up some whole wheat egg noodles. And then these are for our little mini grill. And then there's this little one. Hi. I know. So that is everything we picked up. I am now going to put it all away. And then I am going to eat dinner. So it is much later now. It is like almost 10 p.m. <laughs> Ate dinner, washed my face. We started watching Game of Thrones. We're re-watching that. And now we're watching baseball on TV. And um, yeah, so I need to end. Please do just excuse all this. All my hair is still falling down. Anyways, we need to end this vlog officially. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you again very soon. Say bye, babe. Bye, babe.